To begin this project, we took a bit of a shortcut. We started with a cheap plastic sword that you can find in the toy section at Walmart or on Amazon.com. The first step is to cut the cross guard off the sword and half of the hilt as well. Take a small LED flashlight and put batteries in it. Then turn it to the on position. Apply Magic Sculpt to the main part of the flashlight and start drawing the scales with your sculpting tool. Do this until the entire flashlight is covered with scales. This next step is a very important part to not forget. Super glue the bottom half of the flashlight onto the bottom part of the hill to where you previously cut. Next, print out a GMM logo from your computer and then cover it in a layer of clear tape. Use a toothpick as a pedestal. Now, you're ready to sculpt the bottom part of the sword. Begin by mixing some magic sculpt together using equal portions of hardener and resin. Then, take two large glass pieces and sandwich the logo between them. Mix more magic sculpt together and form a snake with it. Be careful not to make the snake too long so that the magic sculpt won't harden before you can have a chance to scale all of it up. Wrap the scaly snake around the glass pieces to hold them in place. Next, mix and apply more magic sculpt to the upper part of the hilt and add scales just as before. Next, add a couple of spikes, and finally, cover the glass parts in tape and spray paint the entire thing red. Then, use a little black paint and dab it on for contrast. Spray it all down with an acrylic lacquer. Take a few foam dowels and some false latex leather and make the base for the winged cross guard. To do this, first cut six triangular pieces of false latex leather and glue them together back to back in pairs. Cut three foam dowel pieces and glue them to the false leather like this. Take another foam dowel piece and glue it to the bottom of the wing. Then, take some styrofoam and carve it in the shape of a drumstick. 
glue the other end of the foam dowel and glue it to the styrofoam piece, then glue this entire unit to the sword. Do this once more. Do this for the other foam dowels on the top part of each wing as well, and top off each one with a claw. Add a fourth claw per wing near the bottom, between the arm and base of the wing. Do this for the other side as well. Next, coat the protruding foam dowel with Magic Sculpt and scale it up. Lastly, spray it all down with red paint and wait for it to dry, then dab it down with black paint for contrast. The final step is to glue on a few feathers. The ones that you can find in a craft store are often too long, so you will have to shorten them like this. Then spray it all down with an acrylic lacquer. Now, you're done.